A famous sequence in mathematics has each new number equal to the sum of the previous two numbers. You may know this as the Fibonacci sequence. It was discovered more than a thousand years before Fibonacci by the mathematician Pingala in the analysis of language. Consider the words rice and ohm. They take longer to say than the words thug and cot. In the Sanskrit analysis of poetry, rice and ohm can be thought of as long syllables that take two units of metrical beat. Thug and cot would be considered short syllables that take one unit of metrical beat. Pingala wondered how many ways are there to compose n units of metrical beats using long and short syllables? This is a mathematical problem of combinatorics. If we have one total unit, we can only compose that by using one short beat. So there's only one way that we can compose one unit. If we had two units, we could compose it as two short beats but we could also compose it as one long syllable. There are two total ways we can compose two units of metrical beat. What about three ways? Now we can have three short syllables. We can start out with a short syllable followed by a long syllable, or we could start off with a long syllable and end with a short syllable. So there are three total ways to compose three units of metrical beat. What about four units of metrical beat? What we could do is we can copy the number of ways that we compose two units of metrical beat, and then we could put a long syllable at the end. We can also copy the number of ways that we make three units of metrical beat, and we can add a short syllable at the end of each of these. In total, there are five ways we can make four units of metrical beat. And this is because five is equal to two plus three. And now we can see a pattern. If we want to compose n units of metrical beat, we could end the line with the long syllable, which would leave n minus two units of metrical beat. And there are n minus 2, however many number of ways to make that number of beats. We can also end the line with a short syllable, which would leave n minus 1 metrical beats to be filled. So the number of ways to make n units of metrical beat follows a recurrence relation that it's equal to the number of ways to make n minus 2 plus the number of ways to make n minus 1. And it's really amazing that Pingala discovered this over a thousand years before Fibonacci. So we might more accurately call this the Pingala sequence. I hope you like this video. Please subscribe to my channel for free updates when I post new videos on math and game theory. You can catch me on my blog, Mind Your Decisions, which you can follow on Facebook, Google Plus, and Patreon. You can also catch me at Presh Talwakar on social media. And please check out my books on math and game theory. I've provided some links in the video description. Thanks for watching.